are hot and rolling on this Sunday here in Corvallis, and USC has it with Caleb Padilla. This is going to be a fantastic matchup. A couple of things to look for. What does Oregon State do to slow down that young lady right there, Juju Watkins? Watkins, tough shot with a hand in her face. Rebound pulled down by Gardner. Here comes Oregon State and their true freshman point guard, Donovan Hunter, an Oregonian who provides so much at both ends of the floor. Around the Reese pick. Give it back now to Gardner. Inside to Kelsey Reese. Going high and low, but off of Reese's hands, and the Beavers turn it over. Here comes Watkins. So much fun to watch. She is lightning quick. She's crafty. Tried to dish it off to Marshall. It was off her hand. USC turns it over. A.J. Morant came up with it. Here comes Von Olhoffen. Right side to Morant. Takes a three. Quickly picked up by Watkins. Ball bounced inside to Gardner. Playing the five in place of Reagan Beers. Drives it in. Fall away shot from five. Doesn't go. Two and a half minutes in. We're still scoreless. Yeah, both these teams just facing up. Defensively doing a nice job. Tough shots. Von Olhoffen fouls Watkins, who hits the shot. An and one opportunity. It's not just a conference of one power team. It's a conference of many powerful teams, including this year six teams in the top 25 right now in the Pac-12 conference, nine in the top 50 of the net rankings. It's an incredible season for the Pac-12 women's basketball yet again. He uses the Reese pick. Three point play by Juju Watkins. Number two leading scorer in the country has USC on top. Gardner's three-pointer. Back of the rim, high in the air. Watkins comes down with her second rebound of the game. In fact, number three gets him out of the right side. Forbes inside now to Rhea Marshall. Goes up, gets the bucket, and she's fouled. Another opportunity at a three-point play for USC. One of your best scorers and interior players, Tania Gardner, get in foul trouble early and take away some of her aggressiveness. That was her first foul. Talia Von Olhoffen with the other foul. Free throw good for Rhea Marshall. A 6-0 USC lead. Lily Hansford checks in for Oregon State. And A.J. Barat came out. They had the mantra of Phil Gill. That was something that they wanted to do. And boy, after Friday night's performance and the win against UCLA, they want more. This place is packed. Perov on the drive and the kick out. Von Olhoffen. Defended by Forbes. Puts up the three and hits it. Forbes is like, what do I got to do? She is on an absolute tear. Eight of her last 12 from the three-point line for Von Olhoffen. And, of course, that game winner yet on Friday. Inside to Davis from Marshall. Davis puts it in her first bucket. Yeah, that's eight for 12 over the last three games. Von Olhoffen, hesitation, speeds up. Puts Watkins in the air. Somehow Juju got a hand on it anyway. How did she do that? Here's Watkins. Three points so far. Juju comes it for three. We got tipped by Hansford and Marshall. Last touch by Marshall. We'll go to Oregon State. Scott Rook told us yesterday a big key is getting paint touches, either on a drive like that one. Kick out to Hansford. Tops in the conference in three points, shooting 51%, but that one didn't go. Forbes, get it back outside. Three-pointer Taylor Bigby, the former Oregon Duck, hits. Porova, inside the Gardner. Quick double team from Bigby. Back to Porova, inside to Schuler. Schuler posting up, little scoop of the hoop, doesn't go. Oregon State just three points here in this first quarter. They trail 11 to 3. Change of speeds by Juju, back outside the Forbes. Side of the rim, no good. Rebound Watkins. Juju puts it up and hits a three pointer. Juju Watkins, six points in this game. And she hasn't shot the ball at a high clip yet. That was her second. And now without Talia Von Olhoffen, who's got the two personals, the scoring is going to have to come from some other place. Long two for Lily Hansford. Rebound tipped by Marshall. Out of bounds. Back to Oregon State with 20. Wonder how much of an emotional toll that win on Friday took out of him. Big bucket for A.J. Moran. Her first two points. It's the second field goal for Oregon State. A trailer 14-5. Looking for a big stop here. Forbes goes around the pick set by Marshall. Hesitates. Follow away shot from eight. Back of the rim. Rebound Reese. Beavers get the stop. How can they respond with a bucket to close the gap? Foul called against Kayla Williams in the backcourt. 
Yeah, she's very aggressive, one of the best on-ball defenders, but the two hands on the back, automatic, and, and the Beavers need much more of this. Opponent field goal percentage, three-point field goal percentage, and defensive rebounds, they're among the leaders in the nation. It's really incredible. Their position defense, they just try to force you to take tough shots. There's a tough shot hit by Adley Blacklock, Perth for the first time in four games. I love it. Be ready when your number is called. Oregon State needing an offensive punch off of the bench, and... Boy, can she come in at Blacklock and fill it up in a hurry. Put it to Marshall. Good stand-up defense by Kelsey Reese. Donovan Hunter tra uh, chases it down. Hunter brings it into the front court. Hassled from behind by Kayla Williams. Four seconds left in the quarter. There's a rejection by Marshall. And that's it. 14-8. The Trojans lead the Beavers. Adley Blacklock, a big three. I think that's a huge development for Oregon State because, boy, they had a hard time. Beavers in the Pac-12 ranks. They are second in field goal percentage time for first three-point field goal percentage, third in assists. Donovan Hunter with it. Yeah, Blacklock last year tied to second in school history in three-point field goal percentage for a single season. A.J. Murat puts it up from six and hits. And suddenly we have a four-point game, Elise. Von Olhoffen has two fouls. She remains on the bench. Doesn't go from Juju. Gets her own rebound. It's a lot of... I mean, she doesn't miss much, but when she does, she gets a lot of rebounds off her own misses. There's a flutter in the lane, and it's good. Reese on the bounce. Shot blocked by Marshall. It's boy, a held ball, and the arrow goes to USC. This was the previous possession. Murat... Having Juju on her, I'm going to go right at her. And then a little fade away in the key, high level. This was Bigby with the left hand. Love that. That is some time spent in the gym to get that shot going down. Uh-huh. Crowd booed that there was no foul. And there indeed wasn't a foul. And there's the one called against Kelsey Reese. You're talking about the Gatorade player that you're in high school. Yes, as, as a senior in high school, yes. And... This is a crowd that is very pro-Oregon State, and what an opportunity to play in front of a crowd like this on a Sunday afternoon. And so far, Oregon State, both their defense and the crowd, have limited her just two of nine from the floor. Along with everything else, Juju shoots a lot of free throws, makes a lot of free throws. She's an 86 percenter, and she's tops in the Pac-12 in both free throws made and attempted and among the nation's leaders in those categories. Yeah, she's top five in getting to the foul line, and that's why she's such a difficult guard. That time she just created a, a trip to the free throw line. Second turnover on Gardner on a forced pass. Watkins uses the screen set by Marshall, hesitates, puts up a shot from 10 feet that doesn't go, and Gardner has it for Oregon State. No foul call, Crowd wanted it. This is a battle. I mean, this is physical basketball. And Juju has the matchup down low against Gardner, and that's a mismatch. Gardner can't finish. Reese control, second opportunity for Oregon State. Barat over Watkins. I think Juju should get a hand on that one as well. I think she rushed it. A foul away from the ball called. That's her second foul. Uh, and USC has built this seven point lead because they are dominating on the glass. 21 to 15. Seven offensive rebounds for USC to just four for Oregon State. And Oregon State, that is one area that is truly their strength. The field goal percentage defense and the rebounding. And USC has come into Gill and has been able to dominate the glass. Fifth in the nation in defensive rebounds per game, Oregon State, 31.2. But, of course, they're without Reagan Beers, who's fourth in the conference, more than 10 rebounds a game. Scooped in the hoop by Blacklock. She's not just a three-point shooter. Really aggressive take for Blacklock with her left hand. And there's an offensive foul on Davis, taken by Blacklock. Henley Blacklock hadn't played in four games. Boy, she's fired up. Yeah, she, Lindsay Gottlieb choosing right now to roll her freshman, Juju, with those two personals in the first half. And she's going to let her keep playing. So, at least Juju's an excellent defender. But if you're Oregon State, you go right at her right now to try to get that third foul. Absolutely. You try to get her, I'd say, to switch situation. Four over, kick it back outside. Von Olhoffen's three-pointer. 
Rebound four. Both these teams right now just having such a hard time against the defenses. 23% shooting for SC as Juju finally gets one to go where third made field goal. And well, Oregon State shooting just 21%. They usually have some of the biggest teams in the nation as well. Just that length. And Kelsey Reese has her first bucket after putting Padilla in the air. A rare open opportunity. She felt the double team Reese went to the hole and was wide open and Von Olhoffen got it to her. Von Olhoffen fourth in the Pac-12 in assists per game. Kayla Padilla hits the mid-range shot. Padilla the pen transfer. She's got such a smooth jumper. Over 1,500 career points. Most of those coming at Penn, where she left as the seventh all-time leading scorer, but she can fill it up in a hurry. Through time, first team, all Ivy League. Blacklock up a nice pass from Von Olhoffen, and Blacklock with the left hand puts it in. And reading the defense beautifully, Padilla tried to follow the screen, and Blacklock could. Padilla, another mid-range shot. Kayla Padilla, she's got four points, and it's a seven-point lead for USC. You just give her a little bit of space, and she can knock it down. Oh, beautiful luck. Reverse layup goes. In this case, her cut. Uh, this Oregon State team is so smart offensively. They know where everybody's supposed to be. Follow it and go for Juju, and Blacklock comes down with the rebound. Adley has three to go along with seven points, playing for the first time in four games. She hasn't been hurt. Got a foul call to the backcourt against McKenzie Forbes. Here's in the bonus, Von Olhoffen. 89% or fourth of the pack. Well, got two on Juju Watkins. They've got the three on Davis. And Oregon State going to the free throw line. Trying to stay in this game. And it pulled to within three despite the fact they're shooting just 29% from the floor. Look back to Forbes. Drives past Blacklock. Tried to shovel it to Marshall on a pocket pass. Out of bounds last touch by Oregon State with 16 now the, story of this, back in it. the story of this first half is Juju Watkins has been limited by Oregon State's defense. No clean looks. It's been tough shots for her and another missed jumper. She's 3 of 18. That looked like legs right there. Tired legs maybe after. Well, the, these noon tips on Sunday when you're on the road and you're traveling are tough. And USC drove in from Eugene this morning. Marshall with another block. Off the drive from Van Olhoffen. Shot clock, game clock, about the same. Juju doesn't care. She fires away and hits a three. Six-point USC lead. The second three-pointer of the game. And it didn't matter the cold streak that she was on. She is going to continue to try to get hot. You shoot till you miss. You shoot till you make it when you're a scorer like her. Oh, Reese unable to get it after Marshall came out to hedge the screen. Von Olhoffen found her. Kelsey couldn't hang on. It's one of those through traffic. I think it might have gone behind a defender. Juju almost did what she did at the end of the second quarter on Friday in Eugene. This time it doesn't go. Yeah, there's no question. Scott Roach said when you're scouting, he's got so much respect for her because she can elevate over the top of the defense that his main goal is to make sure Juju doesn't get by the defense, that she has to go over the top, and that was effective in the first half. Ravens with their SoCal jerseys on. Marshall from Watkins puts it up and in. Rhea Marshall's got five. And the timing of that play from Juju to Rhea was perfect. Waited for the defense. They're going to Reese going one-on-one -on -one against Marshall instead now to pour over. Don pour over out of the Czech Republic, the true freshman. Kick it back outside. Marat picked up quickly by Watkins around the Reese screen. Back to Reese. She can hit from three occasionally. That one's no good. Rebound Davis. USC one and done. Rod bit off on the fake. Put back by Marshall. Doesn't go. We've got a foul called against Oregon State. 66 percenter at the line. I love the fact that Scott Ruick, Tamia Gardner, the sixth player of the year candidate, is coming off the bench every game this season until today because of no Reagan beers. Giving Gardner a chance to take a look at the defense, get focused up. A rock shot blocked by Juju Watkins. USC leads the Pac-12 in blocks per game. Juju fakes against Hunter. Good job by Donovan to stay between her and the hoop. Now Marshall against Reeves. Spin move by Rhea Marshall. Doesn't go. Flying in for the rebound, Mackenzie Forbes. 
Somehow saves from going out of bounds. Back to Padilla. Padilla floats in and hesitates. The lob, and it's good. Beaver basketball team, one of the best in the nation. A projected three seed according to the NCAA D1 committee, which means that Gill Coliseum will be rocking for the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament if they proceed at the same pace. But they need their big star, the sophomore, back out there. On the floor with her team prior to the game after suffering a broken nose. Tamia Gardner with her first bucket. She had a career high 21 on Friday, coming off the bench here in the second half, and her first shot is true. Tough miss. Forbes against Blacklock off the glass. Strong move by Mackenzie Forbes. Yeah, such a good pickup. Quite the journey for Mackenzie Forbes. And McDonald's All American, three pointer by Gardner, and knocks it down. It's a nine point game. Marshall back outside to Forbes who directs some traffic. Davis comes out to set the ball screen, which Forbes uses. And she hits from 16 feet. Mackenzie Forbes. Back-to-back -back buckets for her. Her first four points. Yeah, part of the game that I think is crucial. A lot of coaches don't like that mid-range jumper, but that is tough on a defense. Von Olhoffen on cue misses the mid-range, and Ray Marshall comes down with a ninth board. Padilla picked up by Von Olhoffen. Four white jerseys waiting for Juju on that early break. Well, pick and roll, reverse layup. Good. Two-player game. They scored 14 in the first, 12 in the second, already 12 in the third. Gardner, nice move after doing a little pump fake against Davis. Gardner's got seven points all in the second half. Watkins three doesn't go. And Camille comes down with a rebound, hands it off to Donovan Hunter. Scott, you have told us yesterday, a big key for his team is getting paint touches, either by driving or passing it into the post, and I haven't been able to do a whole lot of that today. And they get to Gardner, follow up, uh, turn around shot from eight is good. I think Scott Ruick making the right call, having her sit just a little bit to start the second half and then let her go. Good defense by Von Olhoffen to avoid the pick and roll in the easy bucket. Watkins with Black with uh, Paroma's hand in her face, put bucket by Marshall, tip by Marshall, and in. Everything has been outside of the lane for Juju today against this Oregon State defense. She has been kept a jump shooter and has not heated up yet at 4 of 24. Good steal by USC. Padilla, three-pointer, rattles out. That ball was halfway down. And it's out of bounds back to USC with 20 to shoot. Juju Watkins with just 12 points so far. Season low is 15. Forbes ducks in against Von Olhoffen. Von Olhoffen defending that way because she's got two fouls. Talia all the way down the right of the lane. Doesn't go. Rebound ripped out of the air by Marshall. 11-point Trojan lead and the ball. Watkins fake left, went right, well cross over, goes up, gets fouled. 12 points, she had 12 at halftime, but on 24 shots. Forbes out, Big B in. Has stepped up huge on the road. That's why this USC team has been so consistent this season. That's why they're dangerous. Absolutely. 19 and 4 this season. And even though Juju was the headliner in terms of scoring, they've got some outstanding athletes to go along with her. Barat to Porova. Inside to Gardner. Double team. Back to Porova. Skipped over to Von Olhoffen. Inside to Gardner. Left hand puts it up and in. Good ball movement by Oregon State. They found the mismatch once. Juju on to Mia. They kicked it out. Ball reversal. She was wide open again. 18-footer. Juju Watkins hit. She's got 16. 5 of 25. Von Olhoffen gets fouled by Taylor Bigby. You know Oregon State is <laughs> licking their chops to say two games at Gill and then two games in Portland with these rabid Oregon State fans. They would absolutely love that scenario. One more coming for Von Olhoffen. 86% or misses the second. We have Marshall's 12th rebound. Boy, how emotional she was after that win on Friday night against UCLA when she hit the game winner. It was just heartwarming to see that. And she has a block of Juju Watkins. Juju, unperturbed, gets it back. Four to shoot. Two to shoot. There's a rejection by Von Olhoffen. 
One second left in the quarter. And Von Ohlhoven doesn't get it off. And Caitlin Davis just looks down at her. Stocks a couple of steps and walks back to the bench. It's a 12-point USC lead. Incredible season as an 18-year-old true freshman already reads the game and understands the game at a high level. I will say today, though, in front of 8,200-plus here at Gill Coliseum and facing this really tough Oregon State defense, they have limited her. They've turned her into a jump shooter with a hand in her face. Judea Skies Watkins, S-K-I-E-S. Sky is the limit for her. Perova, 18-footer, got it. 10-point game. Walked into that one, clean look, knocked it down. It has been 18-12 to 12 in the third quarter. That's what SC was able to do. Davis defended by Porova, and Gardner has it for Oregon State. Donovan Hunter, true freshman point guard from Medford, Oregon, down south of here. Gardner's three doesn't go. Davis comes out with a rebound. Porova fell to the floor, and no foul was called. No sure to the bend. Watkins. Stop at the angle. Gets it now to Marshall. Floats it up. Back iron. Tipped to control by Von Ohlhofen. Von Ohlhofen clearing the corner. Directing some traffic. Now to A.J. Moran. To me, a Gardner. Forcing that ball in. Von Ohlhofen slapping on the ball by Watkins. And we got an offensive foul call against Juju. Veteran in her fourth year as the junior with the COVID year included. She knows how to draw a foul. Gardner against Marshall. Spin move. Draws the foul. Wouldn't fall. And to me, go to the free throw line for a couple. 90 percenter on the year. Did two free throws with 15 seconds left on Friday to put Oregon State up by two. With the situation well, she got involved in everything they did. There's front center in every huddle, even with the injury. All right, it's a six-point game. USC's led by as many as 13. Watkins to work against Von Ohlhoffen. What a battle that is around the pick set by Davis. Double team. Forbes hits the mid-range shot. Good ball movement, one side of the floor to the other, and that is where you can get a little bit of room. She was scoreless at halftime. Reverse layup, and good for Porova, making it a six-point game again. That's a gorgeous move. A little English off the window on the reverse, getting inside that USC defense. And this crowd now getting into it as much as they have all night long with just over six minutes to go on a six-point USC lead. Watkins splits the defense, floats it up, doesn't go. Tough shot with a hand in her face. Oregon State saying there was no touch. Perova sizing up Padilla and just taking off baseline. No help coming. She goes all the way to the other side of the key to finish. Three-pointer by Forbes, and she hits it. There it is. Mackenzie Forbes hits that three-pointer. Now 22 consecutive games with a three for her. Now you knew it was coming, and that was... Clutch timing here in the fourth quarter. Oregon State with the momentum. The crowd on their feet and pushes it back to nine. Von Ohlhoffen to answer. Doesn't go. By the force that a bit. Watkins comes down with it. Ginger's got 11 rebounds to go on with 16 points. Nice move keeping both shoulders between her and the defender. And suddenly USC back up by 11. Got the ball in the backcourt and was off to the races. Gardner puts it up over Marshall to get a pair back to make it a nine-point deficit. Padilla high off the glass, doesn't go, tipped out of bounds by Marshall. It'll go to Oregon State. Gardner puts it up. Good straight-up defense by USC. Yeah, Rhea Marshall is a menace down on the block. When you're trying to score one-on-one -on -one against her, she's one of the few posts that can just stand her ground. Doesn't need help on most possessions. Impressive. By, by the way, USC 4 of 15 on threes. The Beavers 3 of 17. She just missed her last three shots. It's just their offense has not been able to connect from the three-point line. Reese in, pour over, out for Oregon State. Watkins backs it up, defended by Von Ohlhoffen, who pokes it away. Talia absolutely picked her pocket, trying to get rid of it. 
A timeout called by Scott Rule. Staunch against Juju, but their offense just has not been able to make enough shots so far. Marshall coming out to head to that screen. Gardner's three-pointer is good. That makes it a six-point game. Here come the Beavers again. Desperately needed and clutch for Gardner. She's up to 20 points back-to-back 20-point games for Gardner. Just the fourth three-point make of the game for Oregon State. 8,500 were here Friday. It's a similar crowd here today. Floater put up by Forbes. Doesn't go. Gets her own rebound. Puts it up and in. Mackenzie Forbes. Huge. Huge job of crashing the glass for Forbes. 11 points for Mackenzie Forbes all in the second half. 20 for Tamia Gardner of Oregon State all in the second half. Back to an eight-point game. Gardner, quick trigger three. We've got a foul call against Watkins. And Gardner going to be going to the free throw line for three shots. In fact, it's Andrea Marshall, her second. Gardner getting this screen, sticking behind it for the three-point make. Impressive. Had to have it, and the 42% three-point shooter gets it. And then Forbes just working the glass, getting inside position, and able to get the bucket. Last year, Oregon State wasn't winning the close games. This year, they are. Last year, all those close games, six points or fewer. Four and 14 in conference. The turnaround, Rich, is just unbelievable. Last year, this team won four games. They were picked to finish 10th to start the Pac-12 season, and they just lost all of the close games last year. Look at this. Two and seven last year. Five and one in those close games this year. And it, this is, they've had already in this streak, this six-game win streak, three wins against top 10 opponents. It has been a phenomenal stretch for the Oregon State Beavers. They're down by six. Gardner missed the third. A rare miss for her. Doesn't go for Juju. Marshall puts it up and in. Big offensive rebounded bucket for Rhea Marshall. She's so good in these kind of circumstances. Look at her go in there, track the ball off of the rim, and then score over the top of Reese. Hustle play for Marshall. Billy Hansford goes up for three and trying to draw the foul as much as anything else. And it's out of bounds back to the Beaver. Think about the kind of potential that Gardner has. That five-star recruit. Uh, 22 points and a half. Hansford's three. They need it. It ain't happening. Lily O for four from three-point range. Out of bounds to USC. Kelsey Reese thought it was last touched by McKenzie Ford. So eight-point game. So Kelsey Reese was adamant. And the call goes her and her team's way. Now, can the Beavers get a bucket and stay in this game with 45 seconds remaining. Look for Gardner. Hansford, three-pointer. Got it. Lily Hansford hits her first. Indeed, it's a five-point game. I tell you, to Leah Von Olhoff in 31 minutes, she's just one of ten from the floor. But how about ten assists, seven rebounds for Talia and some outstanding defense on Juju. Watkins still in the backcourt, gets it in the front court to Marshall, underneath to Davis, and we got a whistle before the shot. Then it's going to be a baseline out-of-bounds play, just the second team foul. And immediately, Reese reaches out. So still two team fouls for Oregon State to work with. They want to deny. Von Olhoff and out of the game because with the fouls to commit, they didn't want her to commit one. She's got three. USC looking for the bucket to seal it. And quick foul. So still not in the bonus. That was on Gardner. Now Von Olhoff and checks back in and pour over out. Again, Talia has three fouls. They didn't want her to get a fourth. They have her guarding the inbounder. Outside of Padilla. Davis, fouled by Von Olhoffen, who does pick up her fourth foul. She holds her hands out, palms up, or does it say, what was I supposed to do? Well, and Davis needed to get rid of that ball. Davis is the worst player on the floor in terms of shooting foul shots. She's just 57%. So Padilla probably should have just held on to that basketball and taken the foul because Padilla is a good free throw shooter. At 70%. 
Well, clutch hit by Davis. Each team, two timeouts remaining. Both teams now in the bonus. And still a two-possession game. Timeout taken by Oregon State. But all up and got to get it in. Able to lob it into Reese. Beavers got to go quickly. They're down by six. Three with a hand in her face. Doesn't go for Von Olhoffen. Out of bounds to USC. Yeah, another double-double for Rhea Marshall. Her defense today I thought was really at a high level on Gardner. Gardner started to get cooking, but she had a lot of good possessions. Mackenzie Forbes, 72% or gets fouled on Friday when they played most of the game without Reagan Beers, ninth-ranked UCLA, and now facing 10th-ranked USC. Take them down to the final minute here, but it looked like the Trojans are going to escape. Well, I'll tell you, one of these teams was going to have to lose. Oregon State on a six-game winning streak, five of those against top 25 foes. SC came in on a five-game winning streak. Two free throws from Mackenzie Forbes, and then she puts her finger to her mouth, looking up toward the Oregon State band as if to say, be quiet. And they're just 58 points on the board, but they have given themselves an eight-point cushion in large part because of those rebounds. 18 points for Watkins, her third lowest total of the season. Blacklock puts it up for three, and it's blocked by Watkins. Adley reloads front of the rim, and... 1.1 seconds remaining. But the tools to play defense at a high level are all there for Juju. And that is that. A 58-50 win for USC. Again, the Trojans held under 60 by the Beavers. But they come out on top, and they knock out the Beavers for the second time.